how you doing? <laughs> Sometimes I talk about sex before we start even going on our first date, hence the zero. I wrote a range because it really depends on the, the date itself. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I'm, I'm still conventional. I, I think I prefer the guy to take the initiative of talking about it. It just makes me feel a bit comfortable. The reason why I say ladies first is because I feel that in Singapore, if a guy were to bring out a topic first, the ladies will feel like, you know, the guy is a creep. For me, it's both of them have an equal responsibility to do it. It's not for the ladies first, but I can totally understand why in our society, men always get like a big slap in the face, you know. Yeah, yeah so I'm sorry about that. <laughs> Ta -da. But how do you know that your partner has brought a condom in the first place? That's right. <laughs> You know? How, how, how do you know? <laughs> in fact, I bring my own condoms sometimes too. Because they're always like, oh, I forgot a condom. Then, uh, can we just have sex with that one? I'm like, no, that's not happening. Like, go down and buy a condom. Like, there's 7 Elevens everywhere. I, I don't think you can be overly prepared. I mean, yeah. I, wouldn't, I wouldn't judge the guy that brings an umbrella out on a sunny <laughs> day. My god, the next time someone asks me why I bring condoms, that's what I'm going to use. <laughs> <laughs> the most important thing is just communicating right from the start. Let everyone have a safe space to ask questions, uh, open up healthy and authentic dialogues. Because the end goal is not to talk and become pen pals. Maybe for girls to be a little bit more open mm. about going on dates. I would say go on as many dates as you want because then you realise what you like and what you don't like. Because yeah. if you don't date anybody, you never find out what you like. Ever. Then you'll be like 40 and never had an orgasm before. Don't do that. Ex-spice words. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>